The Stock of the Day is brought to you by IG, Australia's number one CFD provider. With over 17,000 markets and extended trading hours, turn US earnings season volatility into opportunity. Get started at IG.com. All right. So, yes, we have the baby boom versus millennial discussion <laughs> in investing, as we always do with Howard and Grady. So, stock of the day, I thought I'd pick a stock that sort of has emphasised this difference in the past, and that's Zero, uh, the accounting software firm uh, out today, posting a 51% jump in the half-year earnings. Now, net profit jumped 76% to... Uh, uh, 95 million New Zealand dollars. Um, Zero is a New Zealand based company, even though it's taking on the world and sort of has its first major growth spurt here in Australia. Uh, revenue increased 25% to almost a billion U, uh, New Zealand dollars. Uh, operating expenses as a mm. percentage of revenue uh, expected to be around 73%. The uh, boss of uh, Zero said the results have reinforced the company's ability to deliver on its strategy. Now, Zero was a tech business that for years and years made no profit um, and put it all into developing the business so, um, and to build a customer base. Then interest rates went up. Um, market sentiment switched on these companies and said, no, 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 we want you to start making a profit. <laughs> Most of them couldn't. Zero did. So... Um, Howard, what do you think of the result? Because you've always been a bit tough on zero. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> because it hasn't made profits. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but now, starting to. Yep. And in fact, it's great to see that they've actually changed from having the strategy of a story to milk investors <laughs> to a strategy to make profits so that investors right. can actually make money. Okay. Now, they haven't reached the point of paying any dividends yet. So they Gosh, still haven't got to the critic. point of yeah, yeah. giving any money back to shareholders. But it's great to see because it's the second year in a row that they've actually made a profit. And you see it in their numbers. Instead of trying to increase subscriber numbers by massive amounts every year, they've only very slightly increased their subscriber numbers in this report. But they're getting an extra 5 or $6 in average revenue per, per subscriber. Right. So suddenly the subscribers are now profitable instead of being unprofitable. So hats off to them. And if they carry on like this for another couple of years, um, it'll actually be a real long-term business and our members will start getting enthusiastic about it. Right, but not few at the moment until they no, build a longer a, track record. It, it's too short a track record. Okay. But it looks like it's heading in the right direction. Yep. Uh, Grady, the millennial view... Love it. ...of zero. <laughs> no, no, is, is yeah. you build the customer base first yeah. and profits will come if you have... Absolutely. A, um, a good product. Yeah, well, and, grow, and a scalable product. Yeah. So you've now got market opportunity. Now it's almost double yeah. in the last 12 months. Yep. Um, so Howard's waiting. I'm loving so it. So <laughs> you're loving it. Yeah. Howard, you, you've you missed the first runner. Absolutely. Do you care? No. Not at all. <laughs> all right. I've got a lot more risk taking, I guess, in yeah. my in And my that's side. the difference. That's why we love yeah. having both of you on. Because oh, we love being together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because it's very different strategies, horses to yeah. horses. So what's your view on Zero? And we also actually, side note, we get a lot of people come up to us separately saying they love seeing us on here. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, no, for Zero, love the company. I've seen it in action. I've been at many pl many workplaces where it is used. It's a fantastic yeah. technology. Including here. Including here. Yeah, another <laughs> the plug. Um, the, I in fact use it too, so yeah. I'm rebelling against the plug. Yeah, product. the results are just phenomenal. And so what you want to see with a tech company is growth, scalability, low capex, low costs, and also um, diversification into other areas, which they've just done. So they've got AI is what you want to see for any tech company at the moment. If, you're, if they're not talking about AI or investment in AI, forget about it. Mm. Um, so Xero has just launched their beta products in the AI, Gen AI space. So that they're coming through the market very soon. That obviously adds a lot of upside potential. So growth opportunity, revenue opportunity. Um, they've also just launched a smart tap and go pay system that you can use on your phone for small businesses in Australia and the UK that is launched in this first half of FY25. Another driver of revenue. Because, because that, I've always thought that's the future of zero. It has to be, yeah. Almost being like a, a judo bank. Exactly, front um, and back end. Yeah. Exactly, because they can't just do the back end and then like that just, yeah. that growth kind yeah. of hits lending, the ceiling very quickly. They have, they have everyone's data. 
<laughs> exactly. <laughs> to and assess loans. Yeah, and they're going to go, yeah. well, why not just keep it all in one place? And yeah. for someone who's going through a home loan process right now, with another stock that we're talking about today, that would be much easier. So right. yeah, I love Zero. love what they're doing. Um, it's a challenging market as well, but they're really good at discipline, um, cost structure, cost management, and ensuring that they stick to their execution goals. So love everything about it. Um, I actually put it on my watch list today. Right, as a buyer, even as at these buyer. levels? Yeah, because okay. it's just a stable company that you know is going to continue to grow. Okay. Because Indeed, there's no an interesting back- thing here. Um, as an older end of the baby <laughs> boomer generation, right. I'm being prepared to be patient and wait. Um, yeah. That maybe doesn't quite fit with the demographic. Yeah. I, how long could I actually wait and still be around to invest? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to great, take positive great, power. Great, great, great power. Well, fortunately, Warren Buffett's a whole uh, yeah, lot older exactly than me. Right. Yeah, exactly right. But there is Grady, who's got many, many, many more years of investing ahead of her. And I'm like, bye. Eager to get in now. <laughs> <laughs> but, Howard, you can't leave us any time soon. This, right. Where's this duo going to go? <laughs> well, I've got some intention of doing Good so, man. but I'm just Good <laughs> so you wouldn't take profits if you've been in? Um, no, um, I still see huge upside potential. I see um, the launch so of the So it's beta. a buy for buy yeah. for you or the Bells is not, I uh, don't, don't cover <coughs> it, but this is my own right. research, my own looking. Obviously, <coughs> information only, not yeah. advice. But personally, I would look at this as a staple in my portfolio from the tech sector. Mm, okay, all right. Um, good discussion there on our stock of the day, which is zero. The stock of the day was brought to you by IG. Turn volatility into opportunity this US earnings season with extended trading hours on over 110 key US shares. Get started at IG.com.